There is an AI tool that you can use to summarize your PowerPoint presentation. Actually, you can upload multiple PowerPoint presentations and you can ask questions. Let's get into that. First, you have to go to Google. You have to search Jada AI. Now you'll be able to click on this generative AI workspace link here. Login. Now we have to click on this new workspace button here and then you'll be able to get a new workspace. This is my PowerPoint document here. Okay. Now I'm going to drag this PowerPoint into this workspace and then you will be able to see now it's uploading, right? And you can drag it as needed. By by the way, just ask any type of questions by using this amazing AI tool. Before that, you have to double click on this document, then you will be able to see what are the slides there. Okay, it's opening with PowerPoint, right? Okay, now you can see all the slides here. Okay, all the slides, you can you can move them. Okay, now just think you need to ask about mobile computing and smart device. Now just type something here by placing the cursor on anywhere. Okay, you can place the cursor on here or here or wherever you want. Just place it and then start typing. I just type yes okay now you can see start typing right summarize the document okay now i just said summarize the document but i need to type slash here then you will be able to get some options okay cool now you have to click on document gpt here we have to use document gpt to summarize uh, ask questions about the documents okay so i'm going to click on this document gpt and then you will be able to select what are the powerpoints or maybe you can upload multiple files like pdf word documents or anything okay and just click on this instead of the computer uh, powerpoint and then click on this run button now you'll be able to see jedi AI is thinking okay actually remember you can do that by using this one also you can click on this and then document gpd and click the file then you can type anything here on the search bar okay by the way now you can see the out evolution of computing trace in the historical milestone okay great this is the summary of that document now I'm going to ask about this slide mobile computing and smart device just type summary of mobile computing and smart devices then click on submit button here okay wow great right analysis of mobile computing and smart devices so interaction is there the internet of internet world wide web and the birth of microprocessor or intelligent machine learning so these are the things that you could get about the mobile computing and smart devices okay and you can click on this submit button again then you will get another one okay this is a summary of mobile computing and smart devices so interaction the birth of the microprocessor and evolution of computing so okay cool now i think you got something right okay great if you need more data about this mobile computing and smart devices have redefined the way we interact with technology so just think about this part okay you need more information you have to click on this select button here and then go to this and just click on this and then double click on it and you can type slash here then you will be able to see universal analysis mind maps and blah 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 so just click on mind map here now you'll be able to get mind map about mobile computing and smart devices let's see let's wait okay cool so this is the mind map about mobile computing and smart devices and have revolutionized the way we use technology so where will write okay now you can ask anything about just think you need about uh, you need to know about we can now easily access into blah 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 so this one so just double click on this and then slash then you can click on text then you will be able to get some text output here okay cool this is the text output you don't need to go to the chat gpt again to know about that you can use the same jeta ai platform to ask about questions okay and get the answers and there are so many things that you can do also you can use this code as an online whiteboard here you can uh, see some brushes here and you can uh, draw something okay also there are some icons here okay headings icons stickers wireframes so those are the things that you can use with this amazing ai tool okay guys i think you got something from this video and please like this share this and comment especially go to my youtube channel and then and then click on subscribe button thank you very much have a nice day